Hey everybody, welcome back to Marsh RC. This video today is also brought to you by White Rose Hobbies. Uh, so today we have another unboxing video of the RC four wheel drive Chevy Blazer body kit. I haven't opened this thing up yet. I'm pretty excited to get this thing in. I know plenty of people have used them. So before we actually cut up in the box, let's go ahead and cover some of the panels on the box. So first things we have are the main box panel over here, which just has a painted up version, has some of the body shots of the body itself. This panel, just the painted up, this end panel, just a little advertisement. This side panel has some more detail of the body itself. And then that side, um, again, just the painted up version. This body retails for around 139 or so. Um, so those of you who've watched my videos, follow along on the channel, you know I just got a new truck. Um, if you know me or you know if you've caught on to any of my stuff, you might know that I'm getting ready for um, a comp coming up at Motorama at the Harrisburg Farm Show Complex. I'm already registered to be running my SCX 10-2, which has a Lexan body, so I just got that new Gen 8. I want to run that at Motorama as well. So in order to run that as Motorama, I had to really quick come up with a hard body. Anyway, so first things first, when we open it up, we get a manual. This is actually a really, really thick manual. I think this might be for like, this can't just be for the manual. Now it looks like it has a the TF2. This is also the Trail Finder 2 manual. So it tells you how to put the body kit together, but this is definitely the uh, tells you throughout it tells you how to put the uh, body on like the TF2, which actually you can get the, get the TF2 RTR with this body on there. So that's that. Got a little package of bubble wrap. This looks like we're going to get into that later. So, get to that later here. Got another big pack of bubble wrap. There we go. Let's get the main body out here. So, this is the main, main body. pretty nice very very detailed I mean if you've ever had RC four-wheel drive products you know how detailed they are nice thing about this is it's it's plastic it's hard body but it's nice and light um, which is really nice I did have another box of stuff in there <clears throat> so you got that got the Hopper. Try and hold that away from the mic a little bit. So the nice thing about this body kit is pretty much everything opens and is removable, detachable, all kinds of cool nonsense going on with this body. What I'm probably going to end up doing is going with some magnets on the topper so I can take the top off when I want to as opposed to using screws or anything like that so got that all right let's bust into this thing oh, so just, well, we'll go one by one so this pack here looks like just a bunch of hardware screws. I'm not going to open all these up because I'm not building this right now. Looks like grill lens covers, rear tailgate lens covers. Ah, yeah, here we go. I was looking for this one. This is, we're going to open this one up. Oh, well. So, in this one, we have some dash decals. Oh, let me turn this other light on and see how that helps or hinders our situation here. There we go. So this has some nice lighting, or not lighting, sorry, that was that. 
decals. Here we have the Chevy metal decals. Open these up. Gotta be a little bit careful with these. These can be kind of fragile sometimes. So we have the metal Chevy bow tie. We have the K5 blazer decals. We get two of them. It's really nice. And then we have the metal Chevy. Magnet. Then here we have the hinges for the hood and I'm going to assume the tailgate because the tailgate does come down. So pretty beefy actually, not definitely not cheap and chintzy. And then these are actually really nice hood hinges. We got here, we got a sprue here, looks like some posts. Gear shifter, windshield wipers. Let's get that out of there. I'll put pieces back in the box. Here looks like some more just random bits and screw sprue pieces for putting the body together. Here we have the side mirrors. Looks like all side mirror assemblies. Some light bucket pieces. Here we have uh, door handles, mounting brackets of some sort in this pack as well. Then we got this pack of windows, looks like the windshield and the side, uh, the cab windows. And then here we have the back of the, the cap and the side pieces for the cap. So in this baggie, we got the, looks like the inside and the outside piece of the tailgate. And the hood. It's a really nice looking hood. Let's sit that on there. Sorry guys, I'm still, still dealing with uh, my temporary... Oh wow, check that out. I don't know if you can actually see that in the video or not, but yeah, there you go. It's actually, actually, uh, holes all the way through that, like it would be in real life. That's, uh, that's pretty awesome. So, there you go. Got the hood on there. It'll sit on there just like that. And because of it being the kit that it is, it does open and close. Fits in there nice and snug. So, that's going to be... That's going to be really cool. I'm really excited to build this. Well, that baggie just wasn't tough at all. They ripped right in half. So we got some braces for some for building the putting the body together. Got your dash dash piece up top, and then you got your floor pan <clears throat> got your steering wheel steering column so that'll fit in there. Nice, nice scale steering column. And then you got your seats and seat backs for your interior. And then you have your um, window trim for the cap. Now this bag I want to be a little bit careful on so I don't cut and scratch the chrome before I even get the body done.
knife is really dull. I use it to cut a lot of a lot of uh, cardboard. So we got the rear bumper, and we got the front bumper, really nice looking bumpers, even for being plastic. And then we have the grill, nice looking grill. I wish it was kind of, I wish it was slotted though in the grill so you could put a radiator behind there. Um, not, not the biggest deal or the end of the world but it would have been nice to see. However, with everything else in this kit, I really, really can't complain. Nope, goes this way. No? Would go this way, right? Sorry, bear with me for just a second here. I'm trying to figure out how it sits in there, probably from the rear. There we go. One ray. Be smarter in the situation. Okay. So put it in the front. There we go. Don't sit in there. It's not going to sit in there without having the screws in. It wants to pop out. But. Boom. Got a piece of sprue on the end of the mold right here on the end. I got to trim off, but so that would sit on there. Let's, let's check out the front bumper. I'm trying to figure out which one's which. That's the rear. There you go. Get the idea. So it'll sit in there like that. And that's what you got for the front. Once it would all be screwed together, it would obviously be a lot tighter and nicer. So that's it, guys. That's all for this review. Um, I'm obviously going to paint the body before I start assembling the whole body. And I, the only other thing that doesn't open, by the way, are the doors. Um, I actually was talking to a guy who bought one of these and I guess never really looked at it online too closely because he thought the doors opened. They do not. Um, that's really the only thing on this truck that doesn't open. Like I said, the tailgate goes up and down, the hood opens up, you can take the cap off either by putting some magnets on there or there's uh, four screws here and you saw them post in the one screw in the one bit there, bag of bits there that um, can sit on there. The other thing too, that's pretty cool with this too that I don't have because it's currently back ordered. Um, they make a couple different ones, but the one I'm, in particular that I want is back ordered. They have like um, the bars like they go in the back, and the one they have holds a spare tire. But what's really cool about the bars that our C4 wheel drive has designed for these for this particular truck is when you put them in there, you can still put the cap on over top of the roll bars, so you can take them off when you want or run it with the cap on. So. I do have one of them. It's just currently backward, so as soon as it comes in stock, we'll um, we'll get one of them and slap it on here. So that's it for this, guys. As always, please like, share, subscribe, and make sure you check back so that you can see the update when we actually paint this and put it together. All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.